Fifi World. We're gonna go to Fifi World. Dad, where are we going? Fifi World. Fifi World. Fifi We're going world. to Fifi World. Fifi World. Fifi World. Fifi World. Fifi World. Say hello. Hello. We're gonna go to Fifi World. Fifi World. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have to be quick because I've already filmed this and it cut me off and I didn't even know because I can't see the screen. Anyway, hello everyone. Today I'm filming my favorites video. It is gonna be my July current favorite. So all the things that I'm loving right now. And I have actually got quite a few. Now actually, forget that. It's my July current likes and dislikes forgot okay yeah likes and dislikes but I've got way more likes than dislikes so that shows it's been a good month and I'm gonna start off with makeup because I've got quite a lot of makeup pieces to show you and let's begin with this blusher here now this blusher is called Laval blusher Lascal oh god I don't know it I don't know what the brand is I'm really really bad with naming things or reading things in different writing styles um, and this is basically a very peachy coloured sort of pinky peachy bronzed kind of blusher I don't know if I'm showing the camera because I can't actually see what I'm showing the camera so I do apologize throughout this video um, but it's really good for summer because it actually goes really well with the bronzer that you put on and it's not as pink and as sort of rose toned as some of the other blushes I've had and I definitely 100% prefer this. It's very pigmented, so really easy to just apply and blend out or whatever. And it was only one pound something off Amazon, so I would actually highly recommend this. And it's in the shade Peach Haze, so I did say it's peachy, um, 106. So yeah, good old blusher. I'll put it this side so I don't, so I don't talk about it again. Um, now for some matte lipsticks. Now recently I have been getting into my matte lipsticks a lot lot more because I tend to like matte lipsticks on other people a lot more than I like shiny lipsticks but on myself I just like sort of mixing and matching. So I decided to purchase some matte lipsticks and these are from the brand Sleek and this is the first one that I got and it's in the shade Bittersweet and it looks like this. It's kind of a nice sort of pinky yeah just sort of a pinky sort of dark pink color it's not really vibrant and not really bright but yeah it is really nice on the lips and these do last honestly so long they are drying on the lips so if you don't like really dry lips and you won't like these but I don't actually mind so that's really good but they do last a very long time even when I eat they last if you've seen my um, prom video my prom vlog I wear this one here which is velvet slipper and honestly I only have to reapply it sort of in here part of my lips I don't have to do it anywhere else it does actually stay on so yeah this one is velvet slipper it's more of an autumn winter kind of shade but it's definitely very suitable for whenever you want really you can just wear what you want whenever so yeah these are about four pounds something from Superdrug, and I would yeah highly recommend them considering they stay on so well now still talking about matte lipsticks I decided to buy this one from Essence and this one was a lot cheaper this one was two pounds something I think and it's in the shade velvet number eight and again it's matte and it's more of a kind of brownie nudie but also a hint of purple I would say I'm sorry if I'm not showing the camera like I said um, but yeah it's honestly so good I've got it on today and it's very different to the other ones because these ones are very drying whereas this one is more velvety more soft and smooth on the lips and more nourishing rather than those ones being quite drying so I do like this for that reason it does not stay on anywhere near as long as the other ones which is good if you don't want it to stay on because so, you know sometimes you don't want a lipstick to be on all day um, but yeah so I'm definitely got this in a favour I really love the colour of it it's quite simplistic oh don't now I'm going to talk about skincare and that kind of thing so all that kind of stuff I'm not really sure what to categorise it 
But first of all, I've got this simple clear skin exfoliating wash. And I very recently got this so that in the mornings I can wash my face with something that's more refreshing. I do have the Emma Hardy cleansing balm, but that's not refreshing for a morning time. So I thought I'd pick this up. It was two pounds, I think it was on offer, and I got it from Wilco's um, in Nottingham, but you can get it from Superdrug as well. And basically it's got witch hazel in it, which is supposed to help with spots and things like that, which is not why I got it. I got it because it's got sort of these little kind of, I don't know what it is actually, but it's got little sort of bits of shell or something in it. Something that kind of scrubs slightly. It is definitely not a facial scrub because facial scrubs are a lot more harsh than this but it does have something in it that does lightly scrub and I think that's really good for a morning time. So yeah, this is what it looks like up close and I also love the colour of the bottle. It just looks really nice and it's my favourite colour. So yes. And next up, I'm gonna talk about this. Now this is the Simple Hydrating Light Moisturiser and this is my favourite moisturiser. I have had it before and it's a very light feeling moisturiser. So it's kind of, in the middle between extremely runny consistency and a thick consistency so it's sort of the perfect way and this is really good for popping on in the mornings i do find that often i struggle with um moisturizers because i don't want to put them on too much because i don't want my sorry i don't want my skin to be oily but this honestly is so good for just putting on underneath your makeup so yes thumbs up to that one now, I have got this tanning product right here, and this is the Saint-Tropez Gradual Tan, and this came through with a magazine that my mum bought, and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna give it a go, I'm gonna use it, so I put it on my arms all the way up until I had my prom, because I wanted my arms to be slightly more sort of tanned for prom, rather than just extremely pale. So I decided to get it, um, use it for that reason. And the night before prom, I put it on, and then the morning after, I also layered it on as well. And it was honestly perfect, like it worked really, really well. I would highly recommend this. Definitely is a like. I would definitely say to buy the bigger bottle, because this is obviously a smaller bottle than the original. And yeah, very, very good. So I'm very happy with that. Now moving on to clothing favourites. I only have one clothing favourite. Actually, I have two, but one's in the wash. So I'll just show it next month or something like that. But the other one is here. And this is a bomber jacket. Now I got this bomber jacket from Primark and I got it in a size 14. I was like, oh, because usually for tops and things, I get like sixes or eights or something like that. But I was like, oh, okay. And I knew that for a jacket, I'd need about like sort of a 10. And it was a 14 and I was like, oh, okay. So I tried it on and it fits absolutely perfectly. Like it really, really does. It's nice and baggy. And it's just, I think I've got something in the pockets actually. I'm not really quite sure what. Don't know, something's in there anyway, I can feel it. But it's really light feeling. So it is perfect for summer. The material is honestly so light. So I could wear this on a hot summer's day and roll the sleeves up and I think I wouldn't, you know, boil. I would still be absolutely fine. So yeah, really been loving this. What else have we got? Food favourites. Now I've got two food favourites. One of them is a drink and it is this diet lemonade here. Now this is not just this specific one. I'm going to use this to represent lemonade as a whole because I've had a cold quite recently and my throat's hurting and the only thing that actually made my throat better was, was drinking lemonade. I don't know why, I think it's because it's cold but it's also sort of the lemon in it as well that helps but yeah really has been a lifesaver so pop you down um what else um oh yeah parmesan i'm loving parmesan like i actually am usually i'm more of a cheddar kind of fan you know but recently i've been liking just sprinkling a little bit of parmesan onto some pasta or something and it's just been really nice a little added touch so yeah parmesan now on to random favorites i've only got three don't worry i won't ramble on and the first one is these sunglasses here. Now, I love sunglasses for putting your hair back. So, my hair's a bit greasy today, I do apologise. But basically, I love it just to pop your hair back. I'll show you what I mean. Like this. I really can't see myself, so I don't know how god-awful I look right now. Um, so I can't see myself, but you know what? Who cares? We're all friends. Um, so, 
these are the sunglasses they don't suit me at all but that's not what i use them for i just legit use them to put my hair back so all good and now i'm going to talk about a book now this is tanya burr's book called love tanya and she's got lots of different things in there about herself so she talks about herself her life how she started youtube and it's actually really interesting how like why she started youtube and everything and you know it is a really nice book to read and then she gives her tips and things on skincare and makeup and all that kind of thing and i'm not sure where i've got up to i think i've got up to her makeup tips yeah I have but yeah like I said she talks about skincare and stuff I've got this Emma Hardy cleansing balm just there but yeah it's honestly so good and I just read this um 10 minutes every single night before I go to bed give this a little read usually I'm not saying I'm you know doing that every single night just for those of you when I do like an evening routine and I don't include that and then you'll be like what you said anyway um also this coloring book here now it's a coloring book for adults and I really like this it's very therapeutic so it's really good just to color away into it and just to kind of settle down and again along with reading this for 10 minutes I do this for 10 minutes as well so it's actually really good and what have I started? I've only just started doing this properly and I've done one page of something and I haven't quite finished it yet. I'm trying to find it just now. Here it is. And I've only got three colored pens. I've only got black, red and green, but I've started to do this little guy just here. But yeah, it's not necessarily the fact that you're supposed to be good at art. It's more the fact that it's just really nice and relaxing just to color in. So I'd highly recommend a little coloring book if you want to sort of settle down. So that's everything for my likes this month. I'm now gonna, actually no it's not, YouTube favourite. I've been really liking Sophie Louise. I'll link her channel down below. I'll try my best to because I know I forget a lot, but I will try my best to do that. Um, yeah, really like her videos. And event favourite was going to prom. That was a really, really good evening and I really enjoyed it. I actually vlogged it, so if you wanna check that out, again, I'll link that down below as well. Try to. Um, so yes, please go and watch that. So yeah, that's everything. Okay, so as for dislikes, I have only got a couple of things that I can actually pick up. And the first one is this Rimmel Stain Matte Powder here. Now the reason why I don't like this is because I absolutely hate the packaging. The packaging broke instantly. As soon as I got it, it was cracked. And when I, um, after a couple of days, totally the lid of it just broke. So that is really bad and I know a lot of people that that also happens to as well. Um, so that's really why I don't like this. It's so annoying because now I can't take it around with me. I just have to sit there with it like in my room and use it. I can't actually take it out and about places. So that's really annoying. I also hate sweet potato. I don't like it and I never will I don't think. It's one of those flavours that makes me go... Like a lot like I really it's do you know like when you eat something and it just literally you can't help but go it's like when some people eat lemons and things like that I love lemons by the way I'd eat a whole lemon but sweet potato uh -uh, don't like it disgusting don't know what it is about it I just don't so you my friend are going to sit right here okay um also what else don't I like I don't like it when you go um we well, don't have time to have a shower but you really need to wash your hair so i hate it when you have to fling your hair over sort of the shower and wash it like that i really don't like that like that is just the worst thing for me it's like oh so yeah i hate that and what else do i hate um oh my god right the other day i had my pillow and i was on top of my bed it's a bunk bed and i got my pillow and i just moved it slightly and because i'm on a bunk bed whacked to the ceiling and i've hurt my knuckle you can't really see it but it's kind of there you can't see i don't think but yeah and it was like <laughs> and like two days later it still kills every time i touch it slightly so yeah hate that so yeah this is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it remember to give it a good old like and subscribe to my channel and all that little things i will continue to do my vlogs as much as i can so thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye